Alright guys, we're taking a look at set Lego, uh, Lego Ninjago Legacy Set 8 plus 71699 Thunder Raider with 576 pieces. Uh, this set uh, is $50 in the United States. Now let's look at the minifigures. Alright, right now we have Jay. He, uh, this, uh, this print is supposed to be replicating the season four design. Uh, he has, uh, the movie faces. His hair is, I haven't ha gotten this hair yet, but it's the movie hair. And I, it's a whole lot different than I thought it would be. But I'm, it's really grown to me. And he has these nunchucks as weapons. Uh, here's Cole. He has the movie hair. Uh, and, uh, maybe cold face with no ghost slash. He has this hot dog. Uh, that is kind of moldy. I think this is the piece that they use for BMO and, uh, Lego Dimensions. There's a hammer made of out of interesting pieces. I think these are to BB-8. I like the evil one. Yeah. Here's Lloyd. He's still, uh, he comes, he's not exclusive to this one, sadly. He comes in the green car, I don't remember its name. But he has, uh, plain katana. This is basically just throwing it in so you don't have to buy the $10 set. Here's a ninjroid. Uh, he has an angry face on one side and a more angry face on the other. Uh, he, he's using the same piece from... Uh, 2013. Yeah, that's that one. Alright, here is the Overlord. He looks much different from what he did in the original uh, TV show. He uh, has this uh, weapon with a chainsaw on it. He has the same helmet. He has a transparent from 2013. Uh, but he has a transparent face. He has four arms, which is the Garmadon movie uh, chest. Uh, and I, he has a pretty plain torso, to be honest. This is like nothing to be excited over. But yeah, that is the Overlord. Alright, now with Cole's mech, you're able to move the arms and legs. Each arm has a spring-loaded shooter, so you can aim it, and it shoots pretty far and loud. Uh, the cockpit opens, so you can put a uh, ninja in there. Just put coal in there. And there we go. Now here's the main build in the set. Uh, this is Jay's Thunder Raider. They have these cool this cool track design which I really like. It's like feels really feels really nice to fiddle with it. Uh the cockpit opens and you have two levers. Uh these two guns move around, but I think they want you to keep it like this. If you push this up, uh these guns come out, which they don't do anything, they're just for show. It's a cool feature, it's like kinda like a transformer. And I didn't know this would fiddle around. I'm kind of disappointed it doesn't detach. Uh, on the other side, they have these big wheels. I'm surprised it came in their own. It didn't come in their own bag, but yeah. And to connect the two mechs, you gotta take these two Technic pins on the back and slide them in. Uh, you take these and turn them. I'm gonna take that stud, that shooter out. And you turn these around. Then you connect these legs with clip connection. Uh, they go like that. Um, just make, make it look nicer. And boom. It's a pretty big model. <laughs> But yeah, I rate this set a four, uh, four point, uh, five point five out of five. And I